Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I make lemon garlic tilapia. We're going to need some salt, pepper, parsley flakes, whole oregano, butter, a lemon, and some garlic. And then of course you're going to need your fish. I'm using tilapia. You could actually use any kind of fish for this recipe. I'm going to go ahead and melt three tablespoons of butter in a small saucepan and add my garlic. You guys know that I love me some garlic, so I have probably about four tablespoons of garlic here, but you could definitely use less if you prefer. Okay, while this garlic is cooking, I did preheat my oven to 400 degrees, and I'm gonna go ahead and start seasoning the fish. I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of extra virgin olive oil over the top and I'm going to season with salt and pepper to taste. I'm also going to add the oregano and dry parsley flakes. At this time, you could actually make a garlic butter ahead of time and keep it in the fridge if you make um, fish frequently. Like All you have to do is take the butter, the garlic, parsley and oregano and mix it all together and keep it in the fridge. If you want to see a separate video on that, let me know, but I'm just doing it the long way um, in this video. I'm going to go ahead and drizzle over the lemon juice. If you don't like a strong lemon flavor, you could use half of a lemon or you could leave the lemon out completely, but I like to be able to taste the lemon so I squeeze out the entire lemon. Once the garlic starts turning brown, you don't want it to cook all the way through because you are baking it. You could go ahead and take it off the heat and add it to the fish. Now you're going to see me pour it over the fish, but off camera, I did actually flip the fish over. So I had the garlic at the bottom of the baking dish because I was afraid the garlic would burn in the oven if it was sitting on top. So I definitely recommend not doing what I showed in this video, I would recommend the garlic be underneath the fish. I also did um, slice a, another probably half a tablespoon of butter and I put it right on top because I felt like I didn't have enough liquid in my baking dish. Just keep that in mind. I knew my fish was done once it was soft and it started to brown around the edges. This recipe was so Good, you guys like it is so good like I said you could prepare the garlic herb butter ahead of time and keep it in your fridge it is so easy here I am just showing you how soft the fish is if you give this recipe a try definitely let me know thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video